So next thing we're going to talk about, uh, San Diego Comic-Con uh, unveiled uh, one of their Hasbro booth exclusives, the San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusive Revolution set. What this is and why are we talking about it is it's a box set celebrating IDW's Revolution uh, crossover storyline, which is Hasbro's properties all over the place, you know, together. Uh, fighting against the bad guys from the ROM story, which was ROM, which was originally a Parker Brothers and Milton Bradley kind of thing, but we'll get into that. It's a, this cool box set, essentially, that has uh, the Generations Jetfire, um, but done with a slightly different repaint and got rid of the chrome mm. all over it, which a lot of people are happy about. They actually like that the chrome is <laughs> absent. Um, and it just has the straight-up uh, red, which was more... Um, it was. It's almost like we're getting the Japanese version. I guess is the best way to put it, because the Japanese one was very similar to this. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with uh, one of the Visionaries from the Hasbro toy series. Vi uh, Visionaries. It comes with Leoric, who was one of the leaders of the good guys. Uh, my one complaint about this was Visionaries' gimmick was it had holograms on their toys like the on old the chest school like their... 80s holograms like I guess exactly like, like, so uh... they don't have that there but uh, I'll forgive them you know there'll, there'll be a third party that'll fill in the gap <laughs> worst case um, and by the way all the smaller figures that aren't uh, Transformers are all G.I. Joe molds just to mention that uh, then you have Rom the Space Knight, which is also using a G.I. Joe mold. Uh, it's a lot of unique molding here. Mm -hmm. uh, based off of the famous Marvel Comics Parker Brothers character, Rom the Space Knight. We have Action Man, uh, which anyone who's familiar was, you know, part of G.I. Joe back in the day, was a sub-brand back in the 60s and the 70s. You know, uh, more people know him more for the mainframe cartoon. If you were a 90s kid, Amp it Action up. Man. <laughs> Amp it up. You know? Action Man. Um it's it's more based on that one, yeah. Based by the color scheme, the design, and everything, it looks like that action man and the hairstyle for sure. Yeah, and the hairstyle. So if you're more familiar with that mainframe '90s action man, um, you'll be happy to see it's that one. Uh, we have Roadblock. Um, I guess they chose Roadblock maybe going off of the Rock being Roadblock in the GI Joe movie. Um, the <laughs> the way he looks is kind of weird though because on the box art, Wendell mentioned this. Uh, he has a he, he has, has a goatee, but like but for some re the toy reason itself. on his uh, face sculpt, it's like mutton chops. Yeah, it looks like they gave him mutton chops instead. I, I think they were trying to go for like the rocks fade that he had, and then they just kind of went overboard. No, I don't it's know. not. It's not even a fade. It's straight up. He's bald, and he's just got like the beard going. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's, the, it's like weird. the two side, the two big sideburn mutton chops going all the way down to almost his chin. And yeah, it is uh, it is the rock mold because he does have the uh, the eyebrow, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, well, that's why um, we'll it's, get to that later. It's, again, it's it's the rock mold. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I, I understand why they chose that one, but at the same time, it's funny. Um, there's Dire Wraith, who's one of the villains from Rom the Space Knight. Uh, the only reason why he's present is because in the comic book, he's one of the primary uh, antagonists in this. So they you know they put him in there because a lot of people are like, oh, why are they doubling up on Rom? I know, me too. I kind of was like, yeah, they should have put Gem in there. You know, put Synergy. <laughs> you know, she's a hologram. Uh -huh. um, and they kind of did something like that with the Unit E back in the day when they wanted to unite all of Hasbro's properties. But it, there's a reason for him there and why Gem is absent. And then there's there's a whole bunch of mini figs, like little uh, figures with bases. Those are all more or less based off the Micronauts, which, again, another Hasbro property that's, I mean, you know, based in Transformer history with the Microman stuff. Pretty cool that they did that. That's that's something that really appeals to me, that. And then the last one worth mentioning, uh, which is really cool, is um, they have Matt Tracker, um, as in the mask character, the leader. Mama mask, uh, mama mask. But, in, but this time around, because we've had a Matt Tracker in the past done with a G.I. Joe mold, this time it's based off of the IDW one, so it's Black Tracker. <laughs> you know? so, well, the current, uh, the current cool IDW. Because, current idea yeah the current idea which is cool because i mean it the mold itself is straight up just what we more or less got when it was a public toy uh i thought I that one was an exclusive was. i want to say it was though. 2012 anyone correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was 2012 when we got that matt tracker mm -hmm. um so instead you know to give us something new they gave us black tracker which is the the, the matt tracker that we have in the comics who's black That's so not we his have name. a, a <laughs> what that's not his name. No, it's not his name. 
He's still Matt. Tra- I just call it. It's just it's the it's the to separate between the yeah, two. You yeah. got Matt Tracker and you got Black Tracker. I don't know. I'm just being <laughs> stupid, but it's it's cool that they uh you know that they gave a new a new uh a new interpretation here mm-hmm. because I know that I was reading on the board somewhere. People were like, oh, why is he black and everything? And I was just like, guys, first of all, they're trying to do the comic thing. So I mean, if they made him white, it would be inaccurate. You know, mm. number one, to what they're trying to do. They're trying to promote their crossover here. Yeah, they're And number comics. two and number two, you got white Matt Tracker. And he was he was main, you know, like, you know, public out there, you could get him at a Walmart, you know. So I thought that one was if more anything, of an exclusive. I thought it was like kinda hard to get. Or was that, or was that I, just I found I found it in retail. Oh, okay. I picked it up in retail. Like it's it, this was uh Oh my God! It was it was, it was around the time ago. when the first GI Joe movie was coming out, if I remember correctly. I yeah. could be wrong. Like it's, I, I have vague memories of picking it up. It was a little while ago. I remember. It was a while ago, but the point is, is that, you know, if you want your your more you know cartoon accurate Matt Tracker, um, in a GI Joe three and a quarter scale, it's out there and it's going to be a, definitely a lot cheaper than this one. So mm. uh, there's no reason to complain. You know, well this one this is this exists for the comic. And it looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. I, I dig this box set. Um, it's it's right now. It's the most uh, interesting SDCC exclusive that we've been shown thus far. And I don't mean just Hasbro stuff or Transformers. I mean overall, um, just a lot of cool stuff going on. I really dig the Micronaut stuff because there's Biotron, which is the red, white, and blue robot there. Um, he was a really cool like robot character in the Micronauts comic books and in the toys. So it's cool that you know Biotron is there, an Acro Year, which is the guy with the gyros. Mm-hmm. Um, just looks great. Looks fucking looks great as hell. I, I dig even even the the Visionaries thing. It's just it's cool to see a lot of these Hasbro properties updated. Even Rom the Space Knight. You know, Rom really didn't get a lot of good toy interpretations. You know, after that initial Parker Brother toy, which was you know a '70s toy. There's not much to say about it. So. It, it looks cool. And, and the, hey, as a Transform fan, the Jetfire is awesome. Yeah. You know? It's a good Jetfire. Really cool looking. I mean, I have that mold, of, you know, already, and, and that mold itself a few times over because of the repaints with Starscream and the Seekers. But I dig it. I dig it. What do you think? Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Um, I, just, I just can't get over the roadblock with the mutton chops. <laughs> and then the <laughs> it people, does look weird. And then the people's eyebrow on top of it. Because like when you said it, it was the uh, the rocks mold, I was like, eh, maybe not. And then I scroll down and I see his like forearms. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's totally the rock. <laughs> yeah, it, but I mean, it's I it's really cool. This is it looks like it's a big box set too because um, they showed a picture of what the box set looks like. Mm-hmm. Jetfighter is a leader class, right? And he barely makes up any of the 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 rent of the box size. Right. Let's put it that way. So. It's going to be a big box. It's going to be a big, huge box. It looks like a box like the size of like a board game mm-hmm. or something. looks pretty huge. So Like the Matt Tracker looks cool, or the Black Tracker, as you want to call it. <laughs> uh, the, 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 you get to say it. The, act- the Action Man looks cool, but like I feel his, his, his face looks a little bit long. But like again, it, it really does harken back to the, uh, to the 90s Action Man cartoon. Like I, like, I could totally see that. Um, yeah, that. it looks great. Like it looks all of them. Uh, Leoric Rom, Rom looks, great. looks pretty. I was gonna say Rom looks pretty cool, but I don't know. I I I don't know why my brain always thinks Rom is more sleeker looking. He's not as bulky you, as you're completely. You're completely correct. Actually, you know, he, he was in the Marvel books. He was a lot thinner. I think it was just more going like, well, we got to make the sleek robot out of these bulky, more muscular GI Joe molds. But How I do mean, we do this? But I mean, like, if you if you just go down to Dire Wraith, he's got a little sleek... He's kind of got, like, a sleek silhouette, you know? Yeah, it's true. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess maybe they, that was kind of the artistic direction they were going with, yeah. with maybe the way the mold was. Um, but I, 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 I think it's a great set. Yeah. Uh, like, to me, the weakest thing is the Dire Wraith, but only because it's it's for he's there for the story. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have been perfect if they had gem. I did a little Photoshop of what the gem one would have looked like if I put a gem <laughs> in there instead of die wraith. Um, I put it on my Twitter, but otherwise, um, I think it's great. Easily the be- the most exciting thing that SDCC has put out thus far. Yeah, like uh, uh, you know, like I know these are kind of kind of go to that. 
I know these are probably going to go for like a maybe a hundred or something, right? The what I've read online is this box that's a hundred bucks. Yeah, flat. I which is not I kind of I, yeah, I kind of agree with you with the visionary in that case. They could have done some hologram sticker or something. Yeah, I, I think that that would that would some, been like some, the cherry on some the cake. 3D laser sticker or whatever, you know. I think I think uh, Matt Tracker's perfect. I dig Action Man. I agree with that Rom should have been a little thinner, but otherwise he's fine. Uh, Leo Rick from Visionary should have had the hologram, and I don't know about Mutton Chop Roadblock. Um, <laughs> I have a few different Roadblock toys anyway, so this is not something new for me anyways. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it's another Roadblock. Like I have a, I have like I think I have a three different Roadblock figures, from different <laughs> GI Joes out there. Um, I just really dig also those Micronauts. They right. just they're, they're really freaking cool. Um, it's just th- and those are all original molds those were, that were made for this box set. So that's to me that's almost that's another winner of it's. There's so much going on with it that even on their own, like if Rom was an, on a release on his own in retail, I would have probably picked it up. Hmm. If Leoric was a a release on in retail, if it had the hologram, I probably would have pulled the trigger just because of nostalgia and visionaries. Same thing with Action Man. A lot of these, if they were on their own, with the exception of Roadblock, um, I would have probably purchased anyways so it's cool that it's all in this nice little box set yeah looks really cool anything else you want to say about it um no pretty much uh looks pretty badass like that's pretty cool to like like finally have all this uh hasbro stuff underneath one banner kind of thing you know so like hopefully it's gonna be a it seems hopefully it's gonna be a sign of the future it seems it seems like there's a long time coming that they've been wanting to do this and Mm -hmm. they're finally here so good on them 